Welcome back to CI Living, where earlier this hour we introduced you to musicians Emma Taylor and Leon Lewis Nickel. We have more jazz inspired holiday tunes with them still to come. And we also learned how Carriage Crossing Senior Living is working to make the holidays a little brighter for our friends without addresses. And you can get involved as well. Details on our website, CILiving.tv. All right, now earlier. Thanks to our friends at bestreviews.com and Tipsy Elves, we're both donning our ugly apparel today for National Ugly Sweater Day. Although I do have to say, Ryan, I I I don't think these are ugly. No, I gotta say, yours is pretty darn cute. Right? It's got a nice little sparkle. Sparkle, the lights. I mean, I'd I'd wear that to a party. <laughs> but yours. You know what I'm actually gonna wear to a party? Yours does something. This. This is awesome. And it does something fancy. It does something really fancy. Watch this. Check this out. Oh <laughs> I don't know if they can, can see, you it. see it. It lights, it lights up. <laughs> because you are now officially lit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are getting into the Christmas spirit over here. We are, we are, absolutely. So apparently every third Friday of December, um, people all over the nation, they celebrate Ugly Sweater Day. And I did not know this, but apparently ugly sweaters, Christmas sweaters have been around since the 80s. I kind of thought they were like a newer trend. You know, I think it's become more popular recently, but I remember growing up and there was always that concept of the ugly sweater. Yes, that grandma made. But it's been or... romanticized in more recent years, For I think. sure. I mean, they date it back to like um, Cliff uh, Huxtable yes. on the Cosby Show yes. when he would wear his, or my favorite, Chevy Chase in National Lampoon's Christmas mm -hmm. Vacation. Um, but apparently, I also didn't know this, there was um, some friends in Vancouver who came up with the idea to throw um, an official tacky holiday sweater party as a fundraiser for their friend's cancer treatment. Oh, so they tra they've traced it back to yes. Party Zero. Yes. Ugly Isn't that fun? Sweater Party Zero. That's awesome. Yes. Well, we have to give a shout out to um, the Tipsy Elves who um, shared the these sweaters with us as well as with Curtia and um, they were actually featured on Shark Tank back in 2013. Love that show and oh I actually remember gosh. seeing them on that show. You do? I do. I was impressed even then and I when these came in I was like oh my gosh it's the Tipsy Elf sweaters we oh get to wear them. Well and lucky for everybody at home if they scan that QR code they're gonna score a sweet deal because I believe they're offering 50% off so Go big thank it. you to them. You gotta get your ugly sweater. Yes. All right hey we want to see you and your ugly sweaters today on National Ugly Sweater Day so be sure to connect with us over on social media on our Facebook page and um yeah, yeah it's a party. In, it's gonna be a huge party. <laughs> <laughs> on social media, post those ugly sweaters 